guys welcome back to my channel keto with sammy for today's video we are going to be doing an awesome chicken dinner it's very simple easy and quick to throw together we are going to be making this parmesan crusted chicken so let's get straight to the video all right guys so for today's ingredients very simple ingredients this chicken recipe is very easy to make you're just going to want some garlic powder some salt and pepper some oil for frying this is olive oil or you can use avocado oil you're going to want some powdered Parmesan cheese, one to two eggs for our egg wash, and you are going to want some water for it. Right here we have four chicken breasts, and I did pound them out to an even thickness. Some bacon. And for our sliced cheese for melting on top, I'm using my, this Munster cheese, but you could use any cheese that you like. This is just a cheese that I had from last week um, from leftover for dinner and I don't want it to go to waste but you can use mozzarella slices cheddar slices whatever sliced cheese that you think that will go great for this all right guys so first step is you want to start making your egg wash and you do want a big enough dish that your chicken can lay in so you just want to crack both eggs and then you just want to pour a little bit of water at a time you don't want to pour too much water and just mix your eggs so you do want to make sure your eggs are nice and mixed in because you don't want any big yolks sticking to the chicken. And now we're going to move on to our next step. So next you want another shallow dish and we're going to put one cup of Parmesan cheese. And all we're going to do is season it. So you want to season it with some salt. Some pepper. And some garlic powder and then you're just going to give this a good mix until well incorporated so now we're going to start coating our chicken so you want the egg wash first and then the cheese and right here I just have a plate off to the side and I did just sprinkle some extra salt on my chicken breast so you can put add more seasoning if you like so first you want to dip it into the egg mixture on both sides and then dip it into your Parmesan cheese mixture. And then set it on a plate to the side and just repeat until you're done. And once you have all your chicken breast coated, we're going to move on to frying these. So now we're going to start frying our chicken. And you do want your oil hot because if it is not hot, the, the Parmesan cheese will not stick right. So make sure it is hot. And you're just going to start dropping your chicken in. And we're not going to completely cook these at first because we're going to pop them in the oven. So we're just going to get them nice and crispy. So once it's nice and brown on one side, you just want to flip it. You do not want to burn your cheese. So just keep an eye on that. And then once brown, I'm just going to put off mine onto a wire rack to the side. So when I pop it in the oven, it will be elevated and not just soaking in the juices. So a wire rack is recommended. going to cook the last two chicken breasts so for those of y'all that don't know what a wire rack is this is what I'm talking about so I just have the chicken laying in the air over a baking dish so it could be nice and baked on both sides and it's not just sitting in the juices and getting soggy so now we're just going to pop this in the oven so I popped my chicken in the oven at 350 degrees and depending how thick your chicken is is how long you're going to cook it. So I'm going to cook mine for about 20 minutes. So just make sure your chicken is all the way cooked through. So while our chicken is baking in the oven, I'm just going to start frying up our bacon for on top of our chicken. And I just did cut it up so it's in small little pieces. And I cut up half the pack. So 
So once you have your bacon nice and crispy, I'm just going to put it on a plate to the side with a paper towel so it could drain. And guys, I like to tell people this, save your bacon grease. I like to let it cool down and I put it in a jar to the side. Bacon grease is a great fat on keto, so don't throw out your bacon grease. I just keep it in a mason jar in the fridge. And now we're just going to wait for our chicken to finish cooking. So once your chicken is done baking, we're just going to top it with our sliced cheese now. For the bigger pieces of chicken, I'm just going to put two slices. And now we're actually going to pop this back in the oven for about three minutes on broil. For those of y'all that don't know what broil is, it's just going to get the cheese nice and browned and bubbly on top. So I'm just going to hit this broil button. And mine actually does it by temperature. So I'm just going to put it down to like 425. And just keep an eye on it. It should take about two to three minutes. So once you have your cheese nice and melted, you're going to want to sprinkle your bacon on top. This is the last step. And our dinner is done, guys. It smells absolutely amazing. I know this is going to be a winner in my husband's book. He loves chicken and cheese. So I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. And let me know if y'all do try it down below. I love when y'all tell me if y'all try my recipes and how y'all enjoyed them. Alright guys, so I'm just pairing this easy chicken dinner with a side of simple broccoli. You could use any keto vegetable that you would like. You could use green beans, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, anything that you prefer. But I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video of our keto parmesan chicken. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Please follow me on Facebook. I will link it in the description below along with all our ingredients. I will see y'all in our next video.